Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee puppets. Come on, let's get busy. Pebbles! Let's have a wee look at these. They're beautiful. Feel how cold and soft they are. We're going to make wee pebble pets. <laughs> it's a wee tongue twister, isn't it? Can you see that, Megan? A perfect pebble pet. Yellow hair. Yellow hair. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you like them? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson, the Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentle now. We've been painting some pebble pets. Oh, that's brilliant, Granny Murray. Oh, yes. I collected the pebbles from the beach. That gives me an idea. Why don't you two dress Claude up as a beachcomber? It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. And we can pebble dash our way over to the chairs. <laughs> oh, crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> oh, just a thought, Granny Murray. You should be careful with little pebbles and children. They could easily swallow them. Oh, don't worry. I only let them play with big pebbles and I'm always reminding them not to put anything in their mouth. Oh, good. You can never be too careful. No, my friend Flory looks after a wee girl called Trudy. She puts everything in her mouth one day Flory had to go to the toilet. Ooh. As we all do. So what? She left Trudy alone. She was fine. She was playing on the floor with a puzzle. Anyway, when Flory came back into the room, she noticed that something was missing. What? A goldfish from the bowl. She thought that Trudy had swallowed it. Oh, no. Yes. Flory got herself in a right flap, going onto the internet and looking up first aid books, trying to see what to do. And the more upset Flory got, well, Trudy started to get upset, and when Trudy got upset, Flory got even more upset. <gasps> so what happened? The goldfish swam out from behind a pebble. Trudy hadn't swallowed it. So Flory had been panicking for nothing. <laughs> That's oh. right. So it just goes to show, other people's upsets can upset you too. Oh. Oh, well, Claude won't upset anyone dressed like that. <laughs> 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 look at this. Oh, you look just right for a spot of beach combing, Claude. Hey, oh, thank you. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's a wee pebble pet for you, honey pie. Oh, it's brilliant. It reminds me of my own little pet. <coughs> oh, bye, Samson. Be good for Granny Murray. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trip way. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lights Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points Whining, 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 drives the speed up Squeaker, 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 slows us down Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street Now squeaker, squeaker to a stop I'm in the need, in a hurry I really, really need to speed to work Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry and hurry to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh! My pebble pet will keep me company today. Morning, Dr. Juno. Can you come and take a look at the hazards in the home charts, please? Yes, of course, Nurse Hendry. You have to spot all the dangerous things that can happen in the kitchen. Oh, I see. And these are the forms to fill in with your answers? Mm -hmm. So how many dangerous can you spot? Well, the hot saucepan on the cooker, mm -hmm. the bucket of water on the floor, mm -hmm. the wire from the iron, 
the knives on the counter. Oh, and the dog bowl on the floor. You might trip over that. <laughs> well done. Five out of five. You're the first person so far to spot the dog bowl hazard. Oh, that's because I've got a dog of my own. <laughs> I wonder how Samson's doing right now. I love to skip the rivers he bingle, rivers he bingle by the sea. I love to skip the rivers he bingle, rivers he bingle, that's for me. Right. One across, an animal that barks, three letters. What's that funny noise, Granny Muddy? <laughs> oh, Samson! <gasps> oh no, I hope you haven't swallowed a pebble. What would Dr. Juno do? <gasps> Dr. Juno, you have a patient in the examination room. All right. Hello, Tia. What's happened to you? I burnt my hand under hot water. I hope we're not making a fuss about nothing. Oh, not at all. That's what I'm here for. Let's take a look. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. You're very lucky. Did you put Tia's hand under the cold water straight away? For a skull like this, it's the best thing to do. OK, your hand might sting a little bit, Tia, but Nurse Henry's going to put some cream on it, all right? Well, maybe you need to make the hot water a little bit cooler when you get home, all right? Look, I'll see you later. OK, thanks, Dr Juno. Bye-bye. That's another hazard to add to our chart. I think it's going to be a very busy day today, so I better get on with some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run up to the I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Dr. Juno. Spoke too soon. Yes, Nurse Hendry. Sure. Mickey John's in the examination room with one of his pupils. Oh dear, what's happened? Ah, Dr. Juno, this is Sean. He had an asthma attack in class, worse than ever before. Oh, I see. Let's have a look. And did you follow the normal procedures for an asthma attack? Oh yes, I sat him down with his hands on his knees to relax and keep calm. And uh, he used his inhaler a couple of times. Oh great, that was just the right thing to do. But you were still feeling poorly, were you, Sean? Oh, but you seem okay now. Nurse Henry here will look after you and make sure you're fine, all right? And I will see you later. Oh, um, I, I hope I wasn't being an old fast pot bringing him into the hospital. Oh, not at all, Mickey John. You did absolutely the right thing. You can never be too careful. All oh, right, good. I'd hate to be an old fuss pot. <laughs> so, uh, did I really do the right thing? Yes, you did. Now, I've got to get back to my office. I've got some paperwork to catch up on. I hope my waggy friend's having a good time. Hello, Sam. Oh, I'm sorry to make a fuss. I was just wondering if you could take a look at Samson. You see, he started coughing today and we were painting pebbles and... 
Oh, I'm all worried you might have swallowed one. Oh, that's no problems at all. We'll take him through and give him a good check over and make sure he's okay. Oh, don't worry, Samson. It'll just be like Dr. Juno taking a look at mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Come on, Samson, let's go through. Come on, Samson. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, I've given Sean a check over and his asthma seems fine now. Oh, great! Let's go give him the good news. Mm. Hello, Sean. Oh, you're looking much better now. You can go back to school. And if ever you're feeling poorly, just use your inhaler. All right. Are you sure about that, Dr Juno? About Sean going back to school, I mean? Oh, of course you're sure. You're the doctor. I'm sorry. I'm just a bit upset. Oh. You see, I'm not making a fuss, am I? I'm sorry if I am. I hate making a fuss. It's just I want to be sure I did the right thing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is all my fault. Um, oh my goodness. What's going on? Oh, I've been looking after my patients all day. Sean's ready to go back to school, but Mickey John is the complete flap. What can I do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. The children were painting lovely pebble pets. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry showed me a chart about hazards in the home. I spotted lots of dangers in the kitchen, even the dog bowl that you might trip over. At ten o'clock, I examined a little girl who'd burnt her hand. Her mum was worried that she was making a fuss about nothing, but I soon told her she'd done the right thing. At 12 o'clock, Mickey John arrived in the examination room with Sean. Sean had had an asthma attack. At one o'clock, it was time for Sean to go back to school. His asthma had gone and he was fine. But Mickey John was very upset. He thought he was making a fuss and that it was all his fault. He's in a real flap. What can I do about it? Now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Other people's upsets? can upset you too. Of course! I've got to calm Mickey John down. He's all worried and upset from looking after Sean. Mickey John thought he was being a real fuss bot. So I've got to make a real fuss over him. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a sure thing I'm kind of she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm working I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that Are you feeling much better now, Mickey John? Much better, thanks. I'm just sorry I made such a fuss earlier. You see, I... Oh, don't start that one again. You are not making a fuss, OK? OK. Good. See, other people's upset can upset you too. Let's go and see how Sean's doing. Ah, <laughs> uh, we were just spotting some hazards in the home. Oh, that looks good. I'll do it with you, Sean. <laughs> Patient and teacher seem to be doing fine. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, I hope my furry friend's fine too. I wonder what he's up to right now. Is he all right? Ah, he's fine. Young dogs often swallow things they shouldn't do, but he hasn't swallowed a pebble, he's fine. And what about his coughing? Ah, it's just a bit of a tickle in the back of his throat, but he'll be fine. Oh, well that's great news, isn't it, my darlings? Dr Juno will be pleased. Come on, you. Let's get you home. Dr Juno will be coming to pick him up. Come on, we in. Samson, look who's here. Samson. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. oh. Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Other people's upsets can upset you too. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. 
and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things. was really special about today. Well, Claude was dressed ready for the beach because the children and I painted patterns on pebbles to make perfect pebble pets. Dr Juno warned me about the dangers of letting children swallow small things. Later, Samson started coughing. <gasps> I got upset because I thought he might have swallowed a pebble. So we took Samson to the vets. I hoped I wasn't making a fuss but the vet decided to give Samson an examination. The vet said Samson was fine. He hadn't swallowed a pebble and his cough was just a tickle in his throat so we could all stop being upset by other people's upsets and calm down. At the hospital, Dr Juno calmed Mickey John down too when she realised he had been upset by other people's upsets. I'll give you your tea in a minute. <laughs> It's much easier looking after my pebble pet. I never have to get upset. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there where we boiled eggs. Come on, let's get moving. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Oh, a storybook. Have a wee seat. Well, this is the story of the tortoise and the hare. There were once two friends, a tortoise and a hare. The hare was always showing off his long legs. I can run much faster than you, said the hare. <laughs> oh, yeah, said the tortoise. On your marks, get set, go. go! The hare charged away and soon was out of sight, but the tortoise was slowly plodding on. The hare was so far in front, he decided to have a wee rest, so he lay down and fell fast asleep. But the tortoise just kept on plodding. When the hare woke up, he saw that the tortoise was just about to cross the finishing line. He tried to catch up. But it was too late. You only won because I fell asleep, said the hare. Oh yeah, said the tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh yes, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> What have you been up to? Well, we've been reading a storybook. Oh, I love books. What story is it? The tortoise and the hare. Oh, that's a belter. <laughs> Good old plodding tortoise. But now Rebecca's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a hoppy hare <laughs> and I'll race you to the chairs. All right. Now, am I the tortoise Whoop. or am I the hare? Looks like I'm the tortoise. <laughs> I won! Oh, and I'm last. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I really want to encourage the children to read more. There's so many exciting adventures for them to read about. Actually, I'm having a book sale at school this afternoon for the children and their parents. It's to raise money for the school and also to encourage them to read more. Oh, where are you getting your books from? Ah, well, I've got a cunning plan, see. I've asked everyone to look on their bookshelves, and if they have two copies of the same book, then they can give one to my book sale. Brilliant, eh? Very clever. Hold on a second. Now, let me see. Uh, ah, the railway children. And, oh, those two there. Oh, fantastic. Look, and this one too. 
Here you are. Oh. Take them all. Oh, that's great granny money. <laughs> Do you know, when I worked in the Nicholson's department store, when we did a stock take, the manager always said, spread it out and show it off, and that way you could see how many of everything we had. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know something you don't have two of. Claude, you've only got one of those, one fluffy one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now don't you go running off anywhere, Claude. Or go racing tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better be off. Ooh. Thank you. It's a badge. I love books. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Have fun with Granny Murray. Come on, Mickey John. <laughs> now remember, spread it out and show it off. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. Books, 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 books. Special delivery for Mickey John. Who's there? It's me, Raymond. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are these for my book sale? Yep. I can't wait. I love books. Oh, me too. You got any favourites? Yes. Adventure stories, like Treasure Island, with Long John Silver. A hire, Jim lad. There'll be treasure in this here island. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, that's a great book. And what about the Arabian Nights? Oh, yes. Aladdin and his flying carpet. <laughs> Hop on. Whee! Wow, the desert goes on for miles and miles. Wow, I can see the Sultan's palace from here, all made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I hope I can pick up some really great books at your book sale. Oh, I'm sure you will, Raymond. Uh, listen, my class will be here in a minute. Would you mind uh, putting those books in the cloakroom for me? Oh, will do. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> oh, your I Love Books badge is perfect, Rebecca. I wonder what you're up to. I love to skip in rivers and I reckon these posters will be enough to let everybody know about our toy sale, Rebecca. Let's stick them up. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Mind you, I don't think we'll earn very much money with this wee dribble of toys, do you? No. No. Why don't we go inside and see if we can find some more toys to raise money for your dad's library fund? <laughs> What are you doing now, Daddy? Does anybody here love books? I do! <laughs> what have you got there, Rudy? Oh, a big pile of audio books, Mickey John. I've listened to them hundreds of times and need some new ones. I thought you might want them for your book sale. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Hey, you might find some new audio books if you come along to my book sale. Um, would you mind leaving those out in the cloakroom for me? <laughs> Not a problem, Mickey John. I'll catch you later, mate. <laughs> oh, there's the bell. And here comes my class. Looks like it's time for me to get down to some hard work. Oh, up with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. To count and teach him to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, 
the secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves us too. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? Learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Ah, lunchtime. Right, class. Now remember, the book sale starts at two o'clock. So hopefully your mums and dads will be coming along to buy you all new exciting stories to read. Right, off you go. Bye-bye. Oh, sandwiches. Oh. oh, have I come at a bad moment? Oh, uh, no, not at all, Tina. Come along in. Oh, I've brought some books for the book sale. Mm. Really excited about it. Yeah. I'm hoping to find a book I loved when I was wee. Oh, what book's that? The magic faraway tree. It's just brilliant. Would you mind leaving your books out in the cloakroom, Tina? Oh. The sale starts at two o'clock. Gotcha. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I wish you were coming to the book sale, Rebecca. I love to skip in river sea pingle, river pingle, that's for me. Now, we've got two of these. No. No, so we'll keep that. Oh, is there another one of those? Where? Oh, so there is. Right, you put one in the box then, good girl. What about Mr Piggy? Oink, oink. Yeah. Put him in the box then. That's the way. Dad will be pleased with us, won't he? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Huh? Dr Doolittle, what's going on? John, you could cause a nasty accident with those big piles of books in the corridor. I nearly went flying. Oh dear, I'm sorry about that, Dr. Juno. Right, never mind. Um, where did my book go? Uh, is this it? Oh yeah, that's my spare copy of Dr. Doolittle. It's for your book sale. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, but I think we should get rid of those books from outside the corridor into here, just in case somebody takes a tumble. Mm, right you are. That's all the books in. Oh, book sale starts soon. Look at all the books I've got. Oh, I hope I sell them all. Actually, can I be your first customer? Oh, well, the book sale starts at two o'clock, so OK, what book are you looking for? Have you got a book called The Little Grey Rabbit? Ah, oh, yes, I think I saw a copy of that somewhere. Um, oh, I got it somewhere. The Little Grey Rabbit. I don't think I can wait any longer, Mickey John. How about The Big Pink Elephant? Mm, no, sorry. Look, I've really got to go. My patients are waiting for me. Bye. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Doctor. Do you know I'll find it in a minute? Oh, dear. Bango's my first customer. Oh, hang on a minute. If Dr. Juno can't find the book she's looking for, how will my other customers manage? Oh, I've got piles and piles of books and no way of telling what type they are. I'm not at all ready. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. She'd been reading the children a story called The Tortoise and the Hare, so the children dressed Claude as a hoppy hare. I told Granny Murray all about my book sale, and she gave me some books to sell. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Raymond dropped off a big pile of books for the book sale. He described the books he liked to read. They sounded fantastic. At nine o'clock, Rudy brought round some audiobooks for the book sale. Then he added his books to the pile in the corridor as the bell went and my class arrived. At 12 o'clock, my class went off for lunch and Tina arrived. She brought more books for the sale and she explained about an amazing book she read when she was little, about a magic faraway tree. At 1 o'clock, I heard a shout from the corridor and a book came flying into the classroom. It was Dr. Juno and she nearly tripped over the pile of books outside, so we moved them all into the classroom. Then Dr. Juno wanted to be my first customer, but I couldn't find the book she wanted and she had to go to work without it. How will anyone find what book they want amongst all these big piles? Now remember, spread it out and show it off. Spread it out and show it off. 
Of course! Instead of leaving the books piled up like this, I should spread them out and show them off. That way the customers will know what they're buying. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it, I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it He's going to start it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bomb I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song I now declare this book sale officially open! Yay! Hey! Ah! <laughs> oh! Treasure Island! Ha ha! I might have a wooden leg But I know where the treasure lies! Ha ha! No. Thank you very much. Hey, <laughs> oh! And there's the magic faraway tree. Wisha, wisha, look out for fairies. Raymond, mm -hmm. I got this for Tina. Thought you'd like it. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Lovely. Oh, and Rudy, hmm? once upon a time, audiobook, lovely stories. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, good man. <laughs> lovely. Oh, you're going to have a busy night. <laughs> Happy reading. Oh, I wonder if you're busy, Rebecca. Oh, we're going to buy something, Rebecca. Thank you. Bye-bye, darling. How exciting. Are you having fun, honey pie? Yeah. Me too. Here's another customer. Hello there. Roll up, roll up. Buy something from Granny Murray's toy stall. All proceeds go to the school library fund. Oh, Rebecca, I hope we manage to sell everything before your dad comes to collect you. Mickey John, come on, we. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, yes. you bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, Granny Murray. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, spread it out and show it off. Save the day. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Home, home. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a hoppy hare because I read the children a book called The Tortoise and the Hare. Mickey John told me he loved reading books too. He was even planning a book sale at school to raise money for the school library. Rebecca and I had a sort out of all the toys in my house. We made signs and set up our toy sale outside the front of the house. Then we spread out all the toys we wanted to sell so our customers could see exactly what they wanted to buy. And Mickey John did just the same thing at his book sale. We sold everything because we remembered to spread it out and show it off. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca. But don't just sit there, Poppins. Come on, let's have some fun. Masks, go and get them for Granny Money then, my angels. Wow! Try that one on, Brian, that'll be funny. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. Hi, Granny Murray. And Lisa. 
<laughs> oh, wow! Oh, what fantastic mask, Granny Murray! Oh, have you got one for Claude, though? You look so little bit left out. Oh, I'm sure I'll have one somewhere. <laughs> Will this do? Oh, that looks like a mask you'd wear in a masked ball in a fairy tale like Cinderella. <gasps> Great idea. Why don't you dress Claude up as Cinderella? <laughs> and I will make a wish for a seat. Oh, your wish is my command. <laughs> wish. <laughs> oh, it's funny you should be dressing Claude up as Cinderella because Raymond and I are doing Cinderella as a play. Oh. I'd love to see that. Well, maybe next time, because today, Raymond and I are taking the Cinderella play abroad. Oh, the audiences over there will love it. Oh, I hope so. Oh, come on. Give me a sneak preview. <laughs> oh, all right. But as Raymond's not here to help, I'll have to play all the roles myself. Smashing. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Cinderella, and I'm so fed up living with my two nasty sisters. Cinders, scrub that kitchen. Yes, Gertrude. Cinders, polish my shoes. Oh, yes, Delilah. Whoa, scrub the kitchen. We're going to a ball. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Your play will be fantastic, Tina. Oh, I wish I had a fairy godmother to make sure you're right about that. Oh, don't worry. You don't need any help because sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Oh, Ooh, well, talking of clever, take a look at everyone's handiwork. <laughs> oh, you look magic, Claude. Mummy? Oh, is that for me, Lisa? Oh, thank you, darling. Bye-bye, love. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Come on, then, Flower. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now, remember, Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. What would be the quickest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under streets, no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Now what? Of course! I have to get dressed for work. <laughs> Tina, thank goodness you're here. Now, did you remember all the hats for the Cinderella show today? Yes, don't worry. Everything's ready and waiting in the garage. <laughs> Just pick the hats you think we'll need and I'll bag them up. Right. Oh, well, this is great. Oh, what about this for the prince's hat? Right, what do you think? Prince, you look divine. Dancing. <laughs> Ah, are you the postman? Oh, yes. How did you guess? Why, you're dancing. It's first class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dash. Oh, not to worry. This won't take long to pick up. Oh, I hope not. We've got a ferry boat to catch. Right. You pop the plates into this bag and I'll put the hats into this other one. You shall go to the ball, Cinders. I wonder what Lisa's doing right now at nursery. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Bye bye. Oh, I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. <laughs> Mummy. Time to hit 
the road, love, if we're going to catch the ferry boat. Oh, have you put everything we need for the show in the taxi? Yes, the makeup's already on board. Oh, well, what about the hats? The hats? Oh, <laughs> the hats. Right. Got them. That's everything. Let's go. Ferry boat, here we come. Chuck and Louie! Hey, you two! What are you doing aboard the ferry boat? Well, we're off across the water to put on a show. Oh, sounds <gasps> exciting! What's it about? Oh, Cinderella! Oh, wow! That's one of my favourites! Me too! <gasps> Ooh, it looks like we're off at last. Oh, how exciting! Okay, Louie. Okay, Chuck. Let's start some hard work. <laughs> The ferry boat band, they play the ferry boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain steers his way as engine pound away Churning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings as the ferry band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noon tide Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bump to the music and stamp your feet As the ferry boat band they play the way to surf and sway Clattering the trays to the splash of the waves The sailors work away as passengers dream their day Eating in the buffet as the ferry band play Oh sailing out to sea, riding on the waves Rocking to the ocean rock As the ferry boat band did play some To the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats, swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bob to the music and stamp your feet. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats, swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bob to the music and stamp your feet. <laughs> I love driving abroad, Raymond. But don't all the different road signs mix you up? Not really. The signs are pretty much the same. I'll show you. Ooh. Look at that. You don't see things like that back home. It's a pity Lisa isn't here to enjoy this. And the bumblebee and they all came marching just to get out of the rain. <laughs> that was brilliant! Right, let me hear your animal noises. I am fun, Mummy. Right, let's get inside and get ready for the show. Right, where's the makeup box? Makeup box. <laughs> uh, hats. Ooh. Hats. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> plates. Plates? Oh no! After all our preparation, now it looks like we won't be able to perform our play because we brought along paper plates instead of hats. Oh, where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's house. They were all having a great time, dressing Claude up as Cinderella and playing with paper masks. At seven o'clock, I arrived at the garage, where Raymond joined me to get ready for our trip. We loaded all the things aboard the taxi, after we tidied up the mess I made by knocking down a pile of paper plates. 
At ten o'clock, we arrived at the ferry and had a great time sailing across the sea. At one o'clock, we arrived and set off to drive to the hall where we had arranged to put on our performance of Cinderella. At three o'clock, we got to the hall, only to discover we'd packed paper plates instead of hats. We must have mixed up the hat bag with the bag containing the paper plates I'd knocked over. Now remember, sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. Well, of course. We may not have hats, but we do have plates. So let's do something clever with the plates. Come on, Raymond, the show must go on. And it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are proud to present the story of Cinderella. <laughs> And I'm very fed up living with my nasty sisters. Cinders, huh? scrub this floor. Yes, Beatrice. Oh, it's the postman. Hello there, Bert. Oh, Cinders, it's just the one letter today to you from Prince Charlie. <gasps> For me? Ooh. From the Prince? Oh, it's an invitation to the ball. I'll have that. <gasps> <coughs> We're going to the ball. Bye. Uh, I wish I could go to the ball tonight and dance with a handsome prince. Ah. Dearest Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. You shall go to the ball. Oh, thank you, fairy godmother. <laughs> but don't be late, dear. Be back by midnight. What a lovely ball. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely, handsome prince. May I have the pleasure? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Bong. Ah, it is midnight. The magic will end. Bye, princey. Hey, what about your schlepper? Whosoever fetched the schlepper, I shall marry. Here, miss, let me try it on. <laughs> no, I think it will fit my dainty wee toes. Oh, oh, look, it fits perfectly, charming. Then we shall be married. And live happily ever after. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, Raymond? Oh, Lisa would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Who can catch the last two elephants? Yay! Well done, that is brilliant. <gasps> Will you look at the time? Your mum will be sailing by soon to pick you up, darling. <laughs> I want to be with you, mummy. Granny Murray have both had a fab day. Oh, we sure did, didn't we? Thank you. Oh, oh my <laughs> wee angel. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you don't realise just how clever you are. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> Next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Granny Murray. Let's go. 
Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Cinderella. He looked a real picture in his glittering mask. I dropped Lisa off at nursery. There, she had great fun pretending to be an animal. After nursery, Lisa came back to my house and joined in with a song about animals trying to keep out of the rain. After we'd finished singing, Lisa's mum arrived to take her home. Tina and Raymond's trip was a great success. Their performance of Cinderella went down a treat, which just goes to show that sometimes you really don't realise how clever you are. What a fun day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.